हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीड बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू हाउ टू यूज द साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग इन योर गेट ऑनलाइन एग्जाम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी हाउ this calculator you can find online so in google directly type in gate online calculator and click search so the first first tab that appears first link you have to click that so it is opening and the same window it will open the same window it will open okay so let us see how it works so remember guys keep practicing on this online calculator so for your numerical practice please use this scientific calculator only because in your actual exam gate exam for your upcoming gate 2020 uh, so you will be getting this calculator only in that online test so you have to practice this don't use physical calculator and keep practicing using this scientific calculator so now let us see what all functions do we have and guys there are other videos also but they have explained many functions which are not generally required i will be explaining you in very simple manner and what all things we are needing for gate purpose only so that only you have to see here so suppose first of all this will the calculator that you will open and this is the clear button so after every calculation you can clear the screen by using the c button mc is the master clear if you have done lot of calculations earlier and you want to reset the memory use this button so generally if you for practice either you press mc or press c it is one and the same thing now general calculations what we have in gate for gate numericals we will be having uh, suppose 10 to the power 3 into 4 so suppose we are having 4 into we want 10 to the power 3 so for remember for these functions whatever are mentioned here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 these 12 functions you have to type in the value of x first that will be like if you want 4 into 10 power 3 so you will be typing in 3 then pressing 10 to the power x so it will take 10 to the power 3 and this value it will show in the bottom final result it will show after you press into is equal to if you press then you will be getting the final value in the answer suppose you will be using pi value you, either you can use 3.14 or pi directly it is given here e value is directly given here so pi e sin cos tan suppose you want to find let us see first trigonometry function sin cos tan so suppose sin 45 so you will be writing 45 and sin so it will show sin 45 as this value okay and suppose if you want sin 45 into 3 into 5.6 into 2 finally you will press n is equal to you will get and remember guys don't put entire equations in one go try to break your equation into multiple calculations so that it will be easier for you to like type in the equations okay and suppose if you want um uh, suppose uh, 10 30 so you will be writing 30 so 10 so it will be value of 10 30 divided by 0.507 so divided by 0.507 is equal to suppose you wanted the answer as 1 upon this value so you will be directly pressing 1 upon x if you press this you will directly get this value so that will be the reciprocal function suppose you want square root of this directly press square root this value so it will come to clear the screen press c if you want suppose the square root of uh, 43 so first you have to write 43 then press the square root then it will show so you you have to remember that in conventional calculator we type in the operator first then type in the numbers but here you have to type in the numbers first then type in the operator okay just like 43 you have to write type in first then you have to press square root button then it will show square root 
if you press square root for then 43 it will show error or it will not work see let us see square root 43 so it goes directly because without that it will not work so 43 you have to type then square root then only it will work similarly for all the other functions suppose we want to find e to the power 3 generally in tome or some other subjects heat and mass transfer and all so we'll be using the power functions more suppose you want ln let us see all these functions so suppose you want to find log 6 so 6 you have to type then type in log so log 6 is this value suppose you want to find log uh, ln value so 3 ln so ln 3 is this so same concept you have to type in the numbers then the operator now suppose uh, 10 to the power 4.5 so 4.5 to this so power 10 that means 10 to the power 4.5 is this much if we want to find square or cube type in suppose 3 square so 3 you have to type then directly press x square so 3 square ok if you want to find cube suppose 56.3 cube we have to find type in the value press x cube this value will come let us see the uh, this is the cube root function this was the square root this is the cube root so 23 cube root is 2.843 okay this is the modulus function so minus 63 so absolute so if you type that will be like 63 negative sign will go so this function we will not be using uh, suppose you have to find x to the power y this you will be using frequently in your calculation suppose 2 to the power 8.8 .8. suppose in um, machining or somewhere you find such kind of calculations so 2 to the power 8.3 first you have to type 2 then press x to the power y then 8.3 3 is equal to understood for this function specifically first you have to type in the first number that is the base x you have to type suppose one more example 6 to the power 8.9 so type in 6 press x to the power 9 x to the power y then 8.9 so equal you have to check this formula bar once don't directly see the answer first see whether it has taken correctly or not and you have to practice daily using this calculator only because if you will not practice you won't be able to work there because even if you know the numerical how to solve it but because of the function of the calculator uh, you can lose time even if uh, even you can do it wrong the calculation you can get it wrong so you have to be like practicing it daily Okay, so these functions are covered suppose you have to find um, suppose complex suppose this is the equation so you can use bracket functions but I suggest you type in different different values small small like individual then note down separately and then using multiplication divide plus minus put in different different operators don't put entire equation at once if you are master in using this calculator then you can directly use that so all the I'll be suggesting you break down the calculation into small parts but let us see a few example suppose 5 into 8 is equal to then you put bracket so it will be taking 40 bracket this will be like 40 it will treat as 40 into whatever you type in suppose 6 bracket close Okay, it, it will not take so you have to take 5 into you have to type in bracket 6 divided by 3.2 bracket close then equal to so always press equal to that will show the final answer because it is calculating step by step first it it will show the answer 1.875 that is 6 upon 3.2 then finally if you press equal to it will multiply by 5 let us see some complex example suppose uh, 
sin 30 so 30 sin into bracket e to the power 5 that is 5 e to the power x into 10 to the power 3.8 so 3.8 10 to the power finally bracket close and press equal to so this is the answer so what we had type in it has done sine 30 into 10 to the power 5 into sorry e to the power 5 into 10 to the power 3.8 so final value is 468211 similar is the inverse functions if you want suppose 0 0.5 0 0.5 so if you write 0 0.5 it will automatically put 0 be before that so no need to worry lightly type always press clear after each uh, calculation 0 0.5 0 0.5 sine inverse is equal to 30 degree okay suppose uh, you have to find factorial so 6 press factorial the factorial 6 is 720 so generally you will be not using uh, hyperbolic functions or inverse hyperbolic functions but directly you can use using the same concept first you have to type in the number 68 sine hyperbolic so it's, it's this value suppose 25 sine hyperbolic is this value so for these functions first you have to type in the numbers only for x to the power phi x to the power y function you have to type in the value of x then press this then press the value of y then put equal to only this function is slightly uh, these two functions this I have not shown and uh, power so suppose 6 this so what it does the square root of 2 is value of y and x is value of 6 so we found out root 6 basically suppose you want to find out uh, cube root of 8 so you can either use this function or if we are going to use this function it will be type in value of x 8 press this 3 it will give 2 like that so this function and this function first you have to type in value of x remember similarly for log x to the base y so suppose log first type in the value of x 2 press this value then press the value of y 6 equal to so it is showing 2 log x base of 6 is 0.3868 so for these three functions namely log x x to the power y and uh, power square root or like root value of particular x at particular y for these functions type in the value of x then put, type in the value of then press this button corresponding then type in the value of y press equal to always press equal to at the end of your equation and uh, these values I have al already shown these operators these operators I have covered so basically like you will be getting some numericals where you will be using ln mostly commonly uh, ln values pi e factorial sine cos tan and x to the power y and 1 upon x and square root so these functions you will be basically using for your calculations and I hope this video has helped you something some idea you have got how to use the calculator and how you can solve most of the equations using this calculator so if you have found the video helpful please press the like button please subscribe if you have already not subscribed and please share this video among your friends and please press the like button i'll be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye